Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Answering this practice problem re requires us to understand the pathway that visual information takes to get to our brain. And I would highly recommend knowing the pathways that all types of visual information takes to get to the center in the brain where it's processed. Okay? Whether it's visual information, auditory information, gustatory information, you need to know the path that it takes to get to the brain. In this case, we're dealing with visual information. If you look at this diagram, you'll notice we have a right visual field, which is the information, the visual information on the right side of our body, and our left visual field, which is the visual information that is off to the left side of our body. Okay? And you'll notice that this information from the right visual field is processed by both eyes, right? So why is that? Well, if I close my left eye, I can still see my left visual field, right? I can still see the stuff that's on the left side of my body. If I close my right eye, I can still see the stuff that's on the right side of my body with my left eye, right? Both eyes are seeing both visual fields to a different degree. The amazing thing about our brain is that it can take information from both eyes and convert it into one image, right? It's a beautiful thing. And notice here that the right visual field is being seen by the temporal side of our left eye, which is the side of your eye that's closer to your temple. So um, you can also think that your temporal lobe is off to the side of your head, so the side of your head. And the right visual field is being um, taken in by the nasal side of your right eye, okay? The nasal side being the side of your eye that's closer to your nose, right? Like your nasal passage. So our left visual field, we can do the same thing. Part of it is being taken in by our temporal side of our right eye, right there, and part of it is being taken in by the nasal side of our left eye, okay? So this information is then taken in through this little nerve right here, which we call our optic nerve, and then it goes to what's called the optic chasm, which is where the visual fields uh, cross, right? So you'll notice that the right visual field crosses over and ends up on the left side of my body, right? You notice that there's green on for both of these lines corresponding to the right visual field. And then the left visual field is going to cross over and it's going to end up solely on the right side of the body, okay? So that's why the optic chiasm is so important, because it's where the visual fields cross, making it so that they are contralateral, right? The right goes to the left, left goes to the right, okay? Then this information passes through a variety of structures, such as the lateral geniculate nucleus, um, it interacts with the superior colliculus, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot more information here. I would like you to know all of it, but we don't have enough time to cover it in this video. Basically, key for this video is what's going to happen if I cut the optic nerve right here? Well, the left visual field and the right visual field are going to get messed up, right? Both visual fields are going to get messed up to a degree because this eye here is seeing both visual fields. So the thing that gets messed up completely is all the sensory information from this eye. All of it gets messed up, right? And that's what this question is asking us about. Taking a second look at the question stem, they're asking us if there's a lesion in the left optic nerve before the optic chiasm, which is what we talked about, how would vision be affected? And remember, both visual fields are getting affected, so we can cross out C and D. And it's not the right eye that's being affected, it's the left eye. All the information from that left eye is being compromised. If you liked today's MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.